today we leave the safety of Marina and she's going to get a rude awakening to sailing life. It's Malaysia's problem and it's become other yachties problems too because Malaysia now and Thailand insist on when you come into the country that you must have wreck removal insurance. Time is now, Rachel, the time is now to depart. Indeed. And uh, we got to go. Funny enough, we've got to go to another marina <laughs> to try and get some work done on our mast and also on our mainsail. So diligent. They whipped me. <laughs> How's the pussycat doing? Now this is this is all a big trial for you, isn't it? What do you think about it all? Oh, time to go to the loo. There's quite a big sea running, and Milo <laughs> just kind of not quite sure of what to think about it all. Are you? Oh, you're going to get down, are you? Gonna get down, have a look around. We're surrounded by rain. <laughs> it's about to start raining. It is raining. It's chilly. I like it. Oh, I feel it. There's the rain. It's here. Yeah, yeah no, the, the rain is so plain. It's going so into the rain. It's so cold. And then. That would be exciting. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. What's up, Jim? Hey, oh, chill out. Chill out, bro. Chill out. She's doing very well. Taking it in her stride. Chill out, Milo. So that there, that boat has created quite a legacy, as is this water getting me wet. But um, it was a wreck during COVID. It was once owned by a billionaire apparently, and then someone bought it off the billionaire. But oh, during cool. COVID, it mysteriously caught on fire and sank. But the owner, I don't think had insurance, and simply just left it there. Decided, no, nah, not my problem now. It's Malaysia's problem and it's become other yachties problems too because Malaysia now and Thailand insist on when you come into the country that you must have wreck removal insurance and you have to prove it of course um, <clears throat> before you, they'll let you get a visa even when you check out for me today I checked out and uh, I insisted on seeing the insurance before we even left port in case we have an accident on our way south so that's the legacy left behind from that wreckage. How is that? Look at that beautiful, dense jungle. It's incredible. We can smell it from here actually. You can smell the earthy tones coming out of the bush as we're approaching this anchorage. And it's the first time we've been in anchorage out of a marina for quite some time and what an amazing anchorage to be in. It throws me back to New Zealand actually the old what they call potocarp I think it is forests and it's the really ancient prehistory prehistoric kind of dinosaur-esque is this of a similar era the descendants of these very trees from an earlier time or lasting long as the uh, potocarps of New Zealand I suspect they are they are just trees, Ivan. But trees are special. Just think if the last tree was left on earth and it was lonely. Cut it down! Cut it down! What do you think of the anchorage, Ivan? I think we need to chop these trees down and build a mall right there uh, with 
lots of parking and uh, a big McDonald's right there would really, I think that would really just, I feel like that would just, you know, a lot more pleasing to the eye. Yeah. So. And get the internet in. Yeah, and I can, yeah. And uh, also maybe Great install big some internet. Point. There's a lot of birds up here. Look at that. Yeah. Little oh, swallows. swallows. Yeah. This is a very, very nice you anchorage look at the swallows, don't you? to transit in as we head our way to Penang. And I will be up early hours tomorrow morning, Sparrow's Fart, or Swallow's Fart, and heading for Penang. So it's about five o'clock in the morning. Just got up. We got uh, squid boats here. One, there's a few of them here. They've been here all night with their generators operating for their lights shining into the water so we're going to maneuver our way through them one problem i have here is because it's so early i actually can't see any uh cray pot boys and there are cray pot boys around here so we're gonna to have to be a little bit careful i've got the torch here so i'll wave that around keep an eye on things hopefully and uh here we go. So the squid boats kind of disappear behind us. I decided to do a little routine check on the engines. And lo and behold, I found some uh, coolant in the bottom of the uh, bilge in the engine bay. And that's not good. So I've just, I'm just going to observe it for a little bit. The temperature of the engine's okay. It looks like it's still operating okay. It's not overheating. It's only a little bit, but uh, there's possibly, well, probably a small leak somewhere. I'm just going to have to monitor it. Uh, I'll probably turn the engine off in a wee while, but I want to get, I want to get some distance first. And see how we go. But something to be uh, watched and see if we see where the leak's coming from. We were up way too late, and we are up way too early. Uh, can you see my bleary eyes? Oh, I feel very bleary eyed this morning. Um, but that's okay, because we're going ashore, Rachel and I, and we're gonna go and, well, Rachel's gonna go for a run. Uh, I'm gonna go do some exercises, just sort of uh, hit exercises. High intensity interval training, they call it, hit. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. We're at uh, Penang. Look at this precious little bun. Oh, she's very, <laughs> she's standing in the wet there. This is the beautiful, the gorgeous new member of the crew. Who's only staying for a short time. It's gonna be so hard to say goodbye because she's so gorgeous. But we've had her since she was about four weeks old. The boys found her in the road and she was, she was dying. And she was in a bad way and she's like doubled in size she's still tiny but she's yeah. doubled in size yeah. and she's just we love her she's we love her <laughs> it's like it's like having a child because every time she does something we go oh look look yeah, at what she's doing today yeah. <laughs> oh look how she's sleeping yeah. oh look at her I'm just lovely aren't you can you hear her she's purring yeah she loves being held don't you Oh, we do not want to ever let you go, but... Oh. Let's go for a run. You can stay here, guard the boat with Ivan. Look yeah, guard cat. Oh yeah, she's a guard cat. You'd be the worst guard cat in the world, would you? You'd be like, come on in, give me some food. So, the great thing about this marina, if you can hear me, is that even though we are parked out there. They allow us to use their facilities. We just had, did we have to pay for that car? Oh, uh, uh, 50, but it's refundable. We paid $50 for one of those, you know, key fob things. And um, we can, yeah, you can use the showers and the toilets in the facilities here. And then you get your $50 back when you leave. 
so that's pretty good and even though we're anchored outside the marina there's no room for us in here anyway it's all big stink boats Whew. that was uh that was good i feel a bit better actually it's amazing how eh, the old exercise highly recommended people rachel uh was reading a thing the other day she could play, explain it better than me but this bloke was reckoning that on average we use about two and a half thousand calories a day generically speaking most people are pretty static on that apparently and and he reckoned it takes a lot of activity to go beyond that sort of average that you as an individual consume daily now the thing is the interesting thing is if that's what you're going to consume like that's that's your thing whether you do exercise or not apparently and if you don't do exercise the body's going to expend that that energy in other ways so it can be used up with stress anxiety um, just it can become a negative use of calories and that's where you get these stress diseases over time develop so the, the idea is just do a little bit of exercise it doesn't have to be much seriously five minutes ten minutes just do a dozen press-ups three times a day or squats just anything and use those calories rather than expend look she's just rocketed past me look at her there you go oh look at this lady she's a rocket too rocket ships everywhere you just find after exercise you just those stresses and things that are bothering you kind of work through you work through them i know rachel goes for runs when she's mid episode and she's really stressed and getting getting kind of stuck she goes for a run and comes back with an idea <laughs> It's good stuff, we all know this, you know. I go back to living in the cave, when you live in the cave, what do we do? We didn't sit on our butts all day at a computer desk, did we? We moved, great option, walking. Go for a walk. All right, here into the sermon. Yep, it's all going on all around me here, people. It's a big game, big game. Holy heck, some serious running going on here. There's a lot of running going on here. Ivan got his workout when we were out and about exploring Penang on mopeds. It was he that spotted a game of soccer in full swing. Ivan inquired whether there was room for him to join in and was immediately welcomed into a team, killing two birds with one stone. Exercise and socialization. <laughs> nice. I'm just taking a free kick. No pressure. No pressure. I slipped. It's so slippery. I think I think I left my mark there. You did? Yeah. I think you did. I saw fine slip, that would have gone in. Oh. Yeah, what a shame. Oh. Dang it dude. I gotta get a goal another way. You do. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Literally 10 seconds later. <laughs> I kid you not. He got that goal 15 seconds maximum later after missing his <laughs> penalty. Oh, that's a genius. Oh. <laughs> so good. I did a suey, even though I'm, I'm a messy fan. <laughs> He did a suey after that goal, which is apparently a, who does that? Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo. Okay, Ronaldo does that apparently. And the, and the, and the, the kids sort of went with it too. I think they made a sort of a noise that I think was uh, kind of, oh, here we go. Oh, it's all go. Anyway, whatever. Whoa, goal. Well done, guys. <laughs> This week, Declan and Chanel, birthday twins, born the same day, same year, have been celebrating their 19th birthdays on the Gold Coast. If you'd like to see what they got up to, hop over to Kiwi Boys on YouTube, their new episode dropping in 24 hours time.
durian are fully in season all the way up this hill that we've just rode up there's durian stalls there isn't so many people eating the durian and for good reason either it's bloody awful it's an acquired taste yeah. man they're so sharp that is seriously sharp i don't think you realize just how sharp he's the king of the fruit king of the fruit yeah. man king of the weapons yeah. oh yeah, it's really sharp try and indent my face I'm just Where gentle, gentle. There you go, you ready? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's really sore. See my bouncy young skin, eh? It's not going to show that. See you what, we had smell of vision. If we had smell of vision. A bit smelly. Yeah. A bit smelly. What's it like? What does it smell like? Because you, you're not allowed to take these into hotels because of the smell, but it's not wholly offensive, is it? It smells sick it I mean, it's not like a sewer. It's like. It's, it smells super like you know that when it's something just like when fruit's about to go off and it's, it's really sweet kind of like that really sweet kind of rotten mm, rotten, like rotten sugar kind of I don't know it's like very like a very intense rotten sweetness kind of look how soft it is really soft squidgy yeah <laughs> it's not as supple as my skin it doesn't bounce back my skin bounces back nicely. Uh, uh. Firstly, the king of fruit. Mm, I'm not sure about the texture. I've had durian on ice cream and it's not that we are. Yeah, if you, if, if you put in the freezer, texture. Uh -huh. you, you will have a texture of uh, ice cream. Oh. Yeah. Well, if dad doesn't like it, that means that we're going to fall. Very sweet or just... It is sort of sweet, sort of, yeah. Uh, I'll leave you up try. Yeah, no. I've had durian ice cream and if it's ice like, cream, it's supposed to be nice like and it wasn't. I'm looking at my something. chops. Yeah. 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 I'm not expecting any fruit. Um, it tastes like a barbecue or something here. Yeah. What do you think? A strong, very strong. Mm. I don't think it'll catch on. <laughs> Howdy, uh, well we got into the anchorage last night and I went into the engine bay, had a further investigation and discovered that the overflow for the freshwater cooling system there's a pipe that goes from that to the engine to the radiator to the coolant and it was rubbing against uh, one of the fan belts on the alternator so it's the sort of thing that's happened before and it's the sort of thing that can easily happen after major work being done on the engine has has been done on this particular engine so just one of those little things I'm going to get in now and fix it with the indisputably effective and multi-purpose electrical tape. Now I, sh I should hasten to add that this is a temporary measure, okay? Temporary permanent. And uh, once I get it, we'll go look for some uh, replacement pipe and um, also I might cable tie that hose to that pipe to a, one of the bigger hoses there so it doesn't slip into the belt again. Excellent! Fixed!